it's Betsy and today we have a fun video. We're going to do some trash talking. So we're going to talk about the products that I've used up and would I repurchase them or have I repurchased them. Now some things I will go ahead and tell you for me to go through a color cosmetic is almost impossible. So that's eyeshadow, um, bronzer, blush, highlight because I have way too much. Now, before we jump into it, I did want to go ahead and tell you the eyeshadow palette I have on my eyes, which is the Melt 27 palette, and then I used on my lid the Cleona Cosmetics Ornamental Shade. Stunning. And then I think this is on my lips is the ColourPop Lippy Tint or Lip Tint in Cherry Picking. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. And I guess we'll start off with like bath style products, I guess, or we'll just kind of go through and see what we have. Now, the first thing that I have is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. Now, this is, we keep a face wash in our shower, and we also keep one beside the sink, and I also wash my face here at work after I work out. So, I actually wash my face three times a day, but in our house, we have one shower, so it kind of stinks. So, I typically keep something like this in there. I use it, Caden, Nadia, Cameron, everybody uses it. But this is just a good, all around, simple, inexpensive facial cleanse, cleanser. Um, I love the way this smells. Um, I haven't bought any new facial cleansers, partly because I have gotten so many in boxes that until I start to go through some, I don't really need to buy any more and like right now we're using glam glow super much so i mean it goes from anything inexpensive to sometimes you know higher end items i'm lucky in the fact of my skin really doesn't get irritated by much so with that being said i can use very inexpensive products um, another thing that I used up is the Equate Beauty. This is Walmart's brand of the orange and pink lemon scrub. This is a facial scrub. This is a physical scrub, which I know you're not supposed to use anymore, but I have always used a physical scrub on my face, whether it be the St. Ives apricot scrub or now this. And St. Ives makes the same thing, but this is a whole lot cheaper. Um, right now I have the Clean and Clear Watermelon Juicy Scrub, and I don't use this all the time. Typically I'll do this once a week or so, so it takes a long time to get through, but I just like the way a physical peel scrub works. Um, I mean, I still have chemical exfoliants. I'm using the, AA, or the Ordinary AHA and BHA Acid. That's pretty good, but I still, I don't know. There's something about how my skin feels after using that. And again, I know you're not supposed to use it, but again, my skin isn't like everybody else's. Next up is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Soaking Salt. I always have Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt and I go through numerous kinds. This is just the one that I had this time, which was the Glow Radiance with essential oils. I pretty much love all of their Epsom salts. I am a bath girl. I take a shower typically in the mornings and a bath at night. Like I love a nice, hot, relaxing bath. So I go through bath products like that. So next up is, this is actually a kid shampoo, but I love the way this smelled. This is the Oil My Goodness Relax and Calm Lavender and Chamomile 3 in 1 Essential oil vapor bath body wash and shampoo i used it as a uh, body wash it smells i can still smell it in the bottle that lavender scent is just so heavenly and it is so good and i honestly don't have as many empties as i normally would because when i moved my office back over here i threw a bunch of stuff away and then i decided you know some people do like to see empties so we're gonna do it Another thing I have is the Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Bath Scrub in Champagne Wishes. I buy this at Walmart. I have another bottle going. There's just something about, it smells delicious. And the consistency of the scrub is like, 
I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is very smooth. Like even though it's a scrub, it's not rough. And it's got enough essential oils. I'm thinking or what in, in this, it's got honey and with honey extracts to exfoliate, exfoliate and hydrate, honey and pear. But it is just the smoothest and you just kind of work it in, kind of like how I'm doing on my fingers. And after you shave your legs, that just makes your skin feel so good. Like to me, there's nothing better than after shaving your legs and getting into bed with clean sheets, like wearing a nightgown and you just feel that the softness of the sheets up against your skin. It is so amazing. And I love this stuff. And I'm a sucker for anything that smells good. And I have another of that already because I was like, I'm getting low. I had bought a backup before it even ran out. So next up is the L'Oreal Revita Filler, Revita Lift Volume Filler Moisturizer. I go through this on a regular basis. I have not bought any more. I love this moisturizer. But again, I've gotten so much in BoxyCharm and Ipsy that I don't need to buy any right now, but this is definitely a staple for me, and I think it's like $27, but this is some of the best moisturizer. Let me see if I can get some out. So if you can tell on my finger, it has a nice, thick, emollient texture, and it just, it is a very thick, but it just goes into your skin and it doesn't leave it greasy, but it feels smooth, I guess is the best way to put it. It's amazing. So this I would always recommend. I mean, if you're looking for a good semi inexpensive moisturizer, that is great. Now, another thing I went through is the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I got this, I think is a Sephora gift or something like that. This is a very good dry shampoo. Would I buy it in the full size? Probably not because there are so many, like the Batiste is so good and so inexpensive. And Amica is nice, it's just pricey. And I'm not, if for me, y'all see how often do I wear my hair down? How often do I do much with it? It is always pulled up because one, I work and I work in a sign slash shirt shop. I'm always busy and I gotta keep my hair out of my face. Two, I typically go for a workout after I get to work in the morning and then before I go home, I'll go for another walk outside. That does not do nice things to my hair. I wash my hair very often. I wash it actually every single day. I know I shouldn't do that. So I very rarely get through a dry shampoo and to me, spending a lot of money on a dry shampoo is not what I want. Okay, so the last thing in skin, hair, makeup kind of thing, or not makeup, is the Good Molecules Cleansing Bowl. Now this comes from Beautylish, it's $15 for a container. It comes with a spatula, which I throw away. And it just as a good, you put this onto your skin when it's dry, rub it in, it gets rid of all your eye makeup, it is awesome. Um, when I run out, I'm using the Bliss, makeup remover right now. When I run out of that or get close to getting low, I'm going to place another Beautylish order to get some more of this because this is awesome. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup removing balm. It's so gentle like on your eyes and stuff like that, but it gets rid of like, it eats through all my waterproof mascaras, all of my fancy eye makeup and stuff like that. This is amazing stuff. Now, we're gonna jump into colored cosmetics, like foundation and stuff like that. So I actually went through three foundations since the last time I did empties. I probably did more. So I went through the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. I love this foundation. I have a lot that I'm working through, but if I remember, when I get down to, what is it, I put two, four, I've got like 20 foundations going. So it'll be a re while before I repurchase it, but this was really good. If you need like a good hydrating foundation, this I really liked. Then I have the NARS, what is this one? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, 
I know it's hard to tell, but it is empty because you can kind of see on the back where there's empty spots. Um, this is a good foundation. Um, I have medium one Punjab, Punjab, however you say that. Um, it's a very good foundation, um, but it is not my favorite anymore. Like I used to love this a whole lot more than what I do now, and I have found foundations like the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation, the Pat McGrath, that I just like a lot more. Um, so, that one, it's still a good foundation, it's just not my favorite. And then last but not least out of foundations is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. And this is in the shade 51NN. Part of the thing is this is a little too dark for me. Because um, my face, even though like if you look at it next to my body, and it pretty much matches, but I don't want to have to bring my foundation like everywhere. Um, so it's a good foundation. I just use it as a mix in to finish it off because I didn't want it to go bad before I got the chance to use it all up. But I like it. It is a beautiful consistency. Um, there's just foundations I like more. I tend to go with I prefer either like a true medium coverage foundation or a full coverage. I'm not a big fan of too many like light, light foundations. Another thing I finished off is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Powders are something that I, it is getting harder and harder for me to go through because I am not much for using powder anymore. As I've gotten older and the fine lines around my under eyes, <laughs> everything wants to settle into it. Using powder has not been my favorite, so I have had this forever. So no, this would not be a repurchase just because I hardly use powders anymore. Um, I have found that I can buy a foundation that kind of self sets and maybe lightly dust it with a pressed powder without it getting too cakey and settling into those lines. I also finished off the Stay Naked Concealer in 40 CP. This concealer is awesome. I have another one that I'm working on right now. It's a little bit darker because this one is, as you can see, a little bit light. I use this as a mix-in. Um, it looks like there's so much left, but there's really not. That is like scraping the, bottle of the bottom of the barrel. It's just when you kind of work your way through it. And I don't want to have to work that much for product. Like I don't want to have to do, because I do one eye at a time. I could only imagine doing it and like only being able to do one and then not having the same concealer to match. So it's done so for me. But yes, this is a lovely, lovely concealer. Um, I will repurchase once I go through some more. Right now I've got like 10 concealers going. So I need to use those at first. Okie dokie. The last three things. The Milani eyeshadow primer, I used to love this. Now, it is definitely, I mean, it's not the worst, but it is definitely not the best. It is a good, inexpensive eyeshadow primer, I guess. No, honestly, it's really not. It's a little runny. It doesn't do any color correcting, like, to kind of help hide the veins and stuff in your eyes. Um, I don't feel like it did anything for longevity, and it kind of creases a little bit. I used to love it. Now, not so much. So, I would not repurchase this one. Now, another one that I have is the Urban Decay. This one's the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Minor Sin. And I'm using the anti-aging one right now. Urban Decay Primer Potions are awesome. I'm not sure if I can get any of this. See if I can get enough of this out over here. Yes, I got a little in the anti-aging. The one thing I do not like about this is if you look, this looks like a highlighter instead of a primer. I bought it and I didn't realize it was shimmery and it makes all of your matte shadows look shimmery. So this is gone. I don't even know how old that is. It could be very, very old. But I did use it all up. And last but not least, I finished off another lip gloss. This is the Pixie and Chloe Morello in lip or lip icing and cake. This is from when she got married. Let's see if I can scrape any of this out. Yeah, I got a little bit. 
This is beautiful. And I love the Pixi Lip Gloss Formula. Will I rebuy this? I will probably eventually get another Pixi Lip Gloss, but I've got so many working right now that I don't need it, but look at that color. It is just like the most perfect your lips but better and it's not it's a little sticky but not too sticky so it's something that feels like it would stay on or and it does stay on but not like it's drying and terrible like a full matte lipstick so those are the products that i have finished off and there are some that i'm working on and i will try to do better about doing empties videos about once a month maybe maybe once every two months because I, as i said i go through a ton of skincare everything else not so much but if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it that will notify you when i post new videos which is every monday wednesday and friday but i guess that's it so we'll see you on friday bye